All right, this one's gonna be on search engine aliases that you can do with W3M. So let's fire up W3M here. And all you gotta do is open up a, uh, you know, your address bar, either in a new tab or the current tab, doesn't matter how you do it. But, uh, you know, at the bottom here, we just say um, go to, right? And in here, you type in your aliases. So for example, mine is uh, DD colon, and that will take us to DuckDuckGo, all right? So let's say uh, I search for uh, my name here, God bless you. And I think it has some Vim stuff, right? And there you go. You'll search uh, DuckDuckGo for that. Now, if I want to do another one, let's do open another one. Now, you hit the Control U to clear out your screen, uh, not your screen, your your string on your um, your address bar, right? And if I do uh, GG, which is my alias for um, you know Google colon here, and I could type in, let's say, for example, um, what we got. Linux Mint, All right? And there we go. Um, it'll search Google for Linux Mint, and we can do another one. Is here? Uh, let's do the Pirate Bay here. We'll do uh, PB colon, and um, we'll do uh, HD wallpapers. Now we're gonna use uh, the semicolon because we can't really type in space in here. So our semicolon it's our space holder. So we're gonna replace that later with a set command, uh, you know. So that's why that's why there's a semicolon there, right? So HD wallpapers, and if you have more, you can do another, you know, semicolon, you know, space and all that. If you have more strings to type, but that's how that works because uh, I like using semicolons because it's on my pinky when I'm typing. So there you go, all right? But anyways, this will search for HD wallpapers on the Pirate Bay, and there we go. All right. Um, so how you set this up? Real simple. Let's bust out the script here. Search engine CGI. And the script is real simple. It's um, just a POSIX compliant shell script. Uh, I saw this one from Mr. Philippe. Uh, his was a bash script, but I cleaned up a little bit, you know, to be um, compatible with everything. But anyways, uh, what do we got in here? So as far as the space holder, all you gotta do is, you know, whatever symbol you use, uh, I'm using a semicolon, like I said, and it will convert it to percent 20, AKA uh, spaces, because um, you can't do, you know, spaces in the address bar. And uh, down here, it's just gonna match uh, whatever alias you use. So let's say if I use DD, then it's gonna go to DuckDuckGo light here. You know, if I use GG, or will use Google, GS for um, Gemini space, all right, and PB for Pirate Bay and stuff like that. You can add in yourself. Uh, I try not to use uh, Surfrol with this. I mean, you could like change the script to use it with Surfrol, but um, uh, I didn't want to do that because I already had a solution for Surfrol using FCF, so I didn't really uh, want to do that. And um, um, yeah, I wanted to match how Mr. Philippe had it. So that's what we're going to do in here. Just a case statement. Uh, what else can we do in here? So, you know, if you want to add it in your own, it's real simple. You, um, let's say we're doing, we'll do one for Yahoo because I don't have Yahoo in here, right? Yeah, I don't. So let's say, for example, we'll copy another one and, uh, we'll put it down here somewhere. YA for Yahoo, right? That's it. And, um, We'll save that and we also want to go into our what was that URI method map this file here in your home folder uh, all you gotta do is go in here make another one we we'll call this YA for Yahoo all right save that and we'll go use Yahoo now so for example I just go to yahoo.com you know, this is when uh, you want to make up your own uh, search engine uh, aliases in here. So I'll search for my name. God bless you. Search. And I, all I'm going to do is just copy the, uh, you know, the URL here. All right. Let me see here. See this URL here? We're going to copy that. And then we're just going to edit out, you know, whatever keyword that we uh, search for. So I'll do, uh, we'll yank it out here. And we'll go to our script. And in here, uh, pretty simple. We're going to delete that paste it in here 
and let's see here. Which part do we need? I don't think we need this part either. We're just going to use that portion. All right. And then we'll save it. And I think that's it, right? Let's see here. We'll close all these other stuff out. And we'll do a new one here. We'll do YA. And we'll search for a name. All right. Let's see if it works. And there we go. This is Yahoo now. Real simple. As you can see uh, at the bottom here, this is the search um, URL for what we search for. So if I can do anything else, like you do YA, I'm going to do uh, Arch Linux. All right now, it's just going to search, uh, you know, Yahoo for um, Arch Linux stuff. Real simple. And that's how you set it up. You know, all you got to do is follow these instructions up top here. Not that hard. You uh, make sure you have the URI method map uh, file and inside it, um, put in any uh, alias you want. You can do, you know, a longer string if you like it to be. Like if you want to type out like the whole thing, like Pirate Bay, you can. But keep in mind, if you type out like really long strings, you have to type that in, um, you know, your address bar. So that's why I keep it limited to, you know, uh, probably three characters long one two or three some people like doing using just one that's fine too if you like to keep short but I like doing two or three at most All right um is that it really not that hard so as, as far as using this like I said you open w3m shift u is the default for um, the address bar I forgot what the one what the new tab is but uh, and to clear out the address bar you do control u uh, kind of like Emacs hotkeys and then you search, you know DD You know Linux wallpapers or whatever it is um, stuff like that not that hard, right? Um, that's it So a little history about this thing I was actually supposed to use this one like two years ago when I asked mr. Fleet if we can do this um, but like midway through I uh, I figured that you can actually do this with FCF and Surfraw. So I actually never used it this uh, back then because, you know, I think the FCF way is like, uh, the, you know, the superior way. <laughs> Cause, mainly because I wrote it, you know, and plus Surfraw has everything and you don't have to like manually, uh, you know, uh, assign different alias for this. But uh, for the history's sake, I uh, looked back and this one is actually pretty useful too. You know, let's say if, if you're on a system that you can't install um, Surfer or anything like that, and then you can actually do this method. And you know, it's just a file really, right? Not that hard. Uh, I mean, you can change the code in here to use Surfer, but it's just uh, inconvenience really. Anywho, so now we have three ways of searching stuff. Uh, we have the uh, smart search, we have the alias search, we have the FCF Surfer search. Um, you know, you, you watch my old videos, I show you all three of them, all right? So let's say, for example, I just show you the aliases. Uh, if you want to use uh, the smart search thing here that I showed you last time, these are using macros. So you can do it this way too. So for example, SD, this one will actually take you to the site first, and then it will give you the little text at the bottom here, all right? You know, so that was another way of doing it. Uh, which one was the other one? I do SG for Google and I can type in, you know, my name for Google stuff. So that was one way and we have the alias way and then like the FCF way, which is using FCF and um, Surferall. So I can do AUR and do a NeoVim, search for that. And there you go. Again, I think the, you know, the FCF way is the best way, but uh, on occasions, you know, if I'm already at the address bar, I don't really want to fire up, you know, FZF to do my, uh, you know, my searching, you know, if I don't need to. Say, for example, what do we got here? We got videos, and I can search for my TMUX videos. All right. So, you know, if you're ever at the, your address bar already, like this, when you open your address bar, you already have it here, so, you know, uh, instead of firing up a FCF, you can just type in, you know, DD and then search for whatever it is. I can spell my own name. Um, so there you go. That's how uh, I set it up. And it's actually pretty cool, um, you know, that people used to do this because um, 
uh, let me show you an example here. Search. No, was that CGI? This this was actually like a very old thing. I didn't know about it, but um, the idea it was uh, around way before I even used W3M, I believe. Because I found it on some uh, Japanese sites also. They were using, I believe, a Ruby command or a Ruby script, right? But it's here. This is back in um, what was that? Oh seven. So this was around a long time. A lot of people use these. Uh, search engine uh, CGI thing here for their searching results. So now we have three ways, you know, the macro way, the aliases, and the FCF surf wall way. Um, there you go, if you wanna set it up and you don't wanna use surf raw and you don't wanna use, um, what is that, the macros that we have in the key bindings. Uh, that's another option if you wanna manually do it. Now this one is only limited to you know a couple of uh, search engines because I don't know if you want to bind it for every search engine out there. Uh, just you know impractical, right? But uh, there you go, and that's how you set up. Link will be in the description if you want to do it. Also, that'll be it for this one.